Some things go better if you get prepared, like voting. You've already pictured yourself voting on election day, right? You know that if we band together and vote, we can actually hold those guys accountable. And you know that our votes together can make a difference about jobs, health care, and about whether or not our government is on our side. And that when we vote more, the insiders count less. Now, you may have heard that some politicians are trying to make it harder to vote. Well, that's true, and we all need to fight back against them. But in the meantime, you can beat these new barriers if you get ready. We're here to help. It's all at aclu.org forward slash let me vote, which you should go visit. But in the meantime, here are a few ways to get your vote in easily, get your vote counted, and make your voice heard. Number one, make sure your registration is up to date, especially if you've moved. You can know beforehand that you're good to go. Number two, find out now where your polling place is. It may have moved. It may be different. And you don't want to go looking for it on election day. Find it now. Number three, consider voting early. Many states let you vote days or even weeks before election day, leaving you free to avoid the election day rush. If you bank your vote, you get ahead of the game. Number four, find out if you need an ID. Some states ask for one now. Make sure you have one that's valid. You can learn that here too. Number five, and most important, if anyone challenges you about voting on election day or before, don't get mad, get help, get on the web, and we'll have your back. So don't just show up, get ready, and make your voice heard.